and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a makeup tutorial with my mum Sue. It's a perfect look if you're not used to wearing makeup or if you don't have much time to apply your makeup on a morning but still want to look like you've got a full face of makeup and made a big effort. So I hope that you enjoy the tutorial and I hope that you all treat your mums to a lovely Mother's Day on Sunday. Enjoy the video. Bye! Bye! So first we're going to cleanse the skin and we're going to use Cordelis Micellar Water. And we're just going to pop that onto a cotton wool pad first. And this is just to make sure that we don't have anything remaining on the skin before we start our makeup. This is a really gentle cleansing water, it smells really nice too. Does that feel nice on your skin? Mm, that's really nice and fresh. Because we want mum's skin to be really fresh today and dewy, we're going to first go in with Embryolise Le Cream Concentrate just to moisturise the skin. This is really good for drier skin types. I wouldn't recommend it for oily skin. So for today's foundation, we're gonna use the L'Oreal Infallible 24 Hour Stay Fresh Foundation. So all I'm gonna do is apply this with my fingers rather than a brush and just really work it into the skin just so we get a really nice natural finish. So on mum's skin, she has both a pink and yellow undertone. So what I like to do is counteract the pink undertone with a yellow toned foundation to balance everything up. I think yellow is a much more flattering tone. So now we've got a nice even base, what we're going to do is go in with a concealer. So the one I'm using today is the Collection Last Imperfection Concealer. This is in number one, which is fair. And what we're going to do is just pop it under the eye area. But we're going to go in more of a triangle and this helps to lift. So we bring it down and up. And then I'm just gonna to switch to um, the Zoeva Defined Buffer Brush, which is the number 103, and I'm just gonna buff that in softly, just using stippling motions, just to help that blend into the skin. I'm gonna use that same concealer now as a highlighter. So we're just gonna pop a little bit up here on the forehead. We don't want too much, just a small amount. And same down the bridge of the nose. On the chin. The bottom of the nose as well, where we tend to get a little bit of redness, just to conceal that. And just on the cupid's bow as well. And then I'm just gonna go back in with that same brush again and just stipple that out. So now we've got mum's foundation on, we do want it to last all day, so what we're going to do is powder it with a little bit of Max Prep and Prime Translucent Powder. This will just help the foundation to stay in place throughout the day and take away any excess shine. So I'm just gonna use a Real Techniques, um, which brush is this, a setting brush. I'm just gonna tap off the excess, and I'm just gonna dust this. First the under the eye area, just to set the concealer across the forehead, down the bridge of the nose. Same on the other side. Basically we want to powder the T-zone area where we tend to get a little bit of excess oil throughout the day. So next what we're gonna do is highlight. So I'm going to use the So Susan Statement Skin Highlighting Crayon. So this is really appropriate for mum, seeing as though she's named Sue. <laughs> and I'm just going to pop this on the high points of the cheekbones here. And if you think of working in sort of like a C motion like this, then that'll give you the best effect. And then I'm just going to go in with my finger and just blend that out. And then because we really like highlight and we want to make it pop, we're going to go in with Max Mineralized Skin Finish. And this is in Soft and Gentle. And we're just going to go over the area that we highlighted. And because we've put a cream product underneath, this highlighter will really stick to it and make that highlight pop. So you can be seen from space. <laughs> That's 
So the camera actually cut out on us, so I'm just going to run you through what we did really quickly. So we took the Sigma Large Angled Contour Brush, which is the F40, along with Max um, Blush in Harmony, and all we did was swirl the brush in the blush, brush in the blush, <laughs> and we looked for the hollow of the cheekbone under here, nestled the brush within it, and just worked in that colour to the cheekbones. The same on this side. Then I took this same brush along with the Illamasqua blush, which is called Lover, and we pop this onto the same brush and just pop that onto the cheek area, keeping everything higher rather than lower. If you pop it in this area here, you're going to drag the face down. So what the aim is, is to think of an inverted triangle. So everything goes upwards to give the face a lift. I don't want to touch the skin anymore. I think that looks beautiful as it is. So I'm going to use the number seven beautiful eyebrows pencil. I don't know if you can see that. It's a sculpting pencil and it has a little spoolie on the end to brush the um, brows out. So all you want to do is give them a little brush through first, just to make sure there's no product sticking to them. And then I'm just going to get mum to turn her head this way slightly. And all I'm going to do is follow her natural brow line and just with little feathering strokes, just fill in that area. Again, nothing too dramatic, we're just doing a really fresh, natural look today. And then just brushing out to make sure everything's nice and natural. And the same on the other side. Mum likes her brows to look a little bit more cut than this. So what we're doing is taking a bit of that same collection concealer and we're just running it under the brow line. Just in a line like that. Just softly for this look. And then all we're gonna do is just feather it out down towards the eyelid. And then all we're gonna do is just take this excess concealer that we've got, just close your eyes for me. And I'm just gonna dab that over the lid. And this is going to be used as a primer for our eyeshadow. So the eyeshadow that I'm going to use today is from Peaches and Cream and it is called Nude. It's actually a pigment, so you only need a very small amount. And I'm just taking that onto a Sigma blending uh, E25 brush. And I'm just gonna pop the excess on the back of my hand just to make sure we don't get any fallout onto the foundation. Just close your eyes for me. So I'm just going to pop this onto the lid and it's just a really nice natural sort of nudey champagne colour. Then I'm just going to take a clean tapered blending brush from Sigma. This is the um, E35 and all I'm going to do is just buff this in gently. Just to make sure that we get a nice diffused line. So we don't want any harsh lines with this makeup. So next we're going to highlight the brow bone. So again, I'm using the MAC Mineralize um, powder again. This is the color Soft and Gentle. So I'm just taking that onto a Sigma E30 pencil brush and just popping it just under the arch of the brow, just to give a little bit of a highlight. And while I have the highlight handy, I'm going to take a bit more on the brush and just pop it over the cupid's bow just here and that helps to give the illusion of a fuller top lip. Right, the next bit is the bit that mum doesn't like very much. I'm going to curl her lashes with the um, MAC eyelash curlers and then we're going to go in with MAC's Extended Play Giga Black Lash Mascara. This is a really great mascara to use. It is um, waterproof and it also has a really, really tiny spoolie so that you can get to all those little lashes. So what I'm going to do is just get mum to look straight forward and just slightly down. That's perfect. And then I'm just going to get her lashes into the lash curler. Just make sure that that feels comfortable. Is that okay? Mm -hmm. And just give them a little squeeze. Always check with your client before you squeeze your lash curlers because you want to make sure that you don't have their skin trapped because it is very painful. And I'm just going to get mum to look down for me and I'm just going to lift her lid up and just wiggle the spool in her lashes to 
come through the mascara. So what we're going to do now is just finish off the eyelashes. So I'm just going to get mum to look straight up to the ceiling for me and that just helps you to get to these bottom lashes. If your client can't see you spoolie when it's coming towards their eyes, they're less likely to blink, which makes it much more comfortable for them. So today I'm going to use the MUA Power Pout Glaze. This is um, the colour Allure. It has a little brush on the end so that you can just pop your colour up like this. You just twist it and your colour comes out and then you can brush it onto your lips. You can use this as quite a sheer coverage or you can build it up to be quite an intense colour. So I'm just going to paint this onto Mum's lips. And that is the makeup look complete. Are you proud? It is what mummy needs. A lift. Mm -hmm. Ah, that one better, won't it? Mm. That one I see. Yeah, try that then. Oh, I forgot what I was going to say. <laughs> it's not like you, Rachel. <laughs> <laughs> 